Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Bridge coming to you with the Night of Champions 2015 review results, whatever you want to call it, uh, show. Uh, to finish out the show, I had a fun time watching uh, the Night of Champions 2015. I'll honestly tell you that it was a, a little bit more of a fun time than I thought it was going to be, coming home and watching three hours of wrestling after a, a long shift, and uh, it's 1.16 in the morning here. Um, it is a little late. I yawned a few times near the end of the show, but uh, I think at the end, even though you know, when you think about you know what just happened and how it's going to fix um, the foreseeable future uh, of the WWE, you know, with Kane returning, it makes you want to yawn a little bit more. Uh, honestly, the Seth Rollins versus Sting match was pretty bad. Um, Sting got injured. You got to give him you know credit for that, and at least he was able to finish the match. He could have thrown the towel in and just said that he was. Unfit uh, to continue um, with with the match after his injury, um, he took one hell of a bump going through the announce table. Uh, you got to give him that, and um, it's more from Sting than I thought we were going to see. Uh, in the pre-show match, the Cosmic Wasteland Stardust and the Ascension pulled out the win over Neville and the Lucha Dragons. I saw the little highlight uh, of the match uh, where they just basically showed the finish. I didn't see anything else because I wasn't going to watch the hour-long pre-show just to see this one 10-minute uh, match. Um, but uh, the show kicked off with Kevin Owens uh, beating Ryback for the uh, Intercontinental Championship. I think that this is definitely going to go into a feud of Kevin Owens versus Ryback having a rematch next month at Hell in the Cell. Kevin Owens winning the Intercontinental Championship, I hope, is a big monumental achievement for his career. Um, I'm hoping that they won't treat him like they treat every single other Intercontinental Champion that they've ever had in the company. Um, basically coming out and losing his first match and um, you know keeping the championship through to count-out disqualification. Something that does fit his character, but I want to see Kevin Owens be a legitimate badass. I honestly do believe that this guy could be a main event deal in WWE if they treat this guy like he is something special. Having him beat John Cena was big. Having him lose to John Cena three times in a row was borderline stupid. Him winning the Intercontinental Championship puts a smile on my face and hopes that they have some plans for him in the foreseeable future. Dolph Ziggler beat Rusev in the Young and the Restless match of the night. Um, they, they said that it was supposed to be highlighting TMZ. Um, Ziggler got the win after uh, Summer Rae threw her shoe into the ring, which dazed Rusev, and Ziggler was able to hit the... Uh, um, zigzag. Before this match, we had a promo uh, highlighting the October uh, month on the WWE Network, which the, is going to be the uh, Brock Lesnar uh, Go to Hell Tour. Um, and basically, on the Go to Hell Tour, they were going to be having Big Show uh, go one-on-one -on -one against Brock Lesnar at Madison Square Garden. We're going to have the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast with Brock Lesnar. And then also, at Hell in a Cell, we're going to get our first um, oh, I guess not first. This is like the one, two, three, four, five, fifth, fifth match from these guys, I believe, might be the sixth. Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, Hell in the Cell. They're not waiting till WrestleMania. They're going to get it on at Hell in the Cell, in the Hell in the Cell, in Los Angeles. Going to be one hell of a deal. Uh, I know a lot of people going to that show, and they're going to be pumped. Um, they got a good one there coming their way. Uh, Dudley Boys defeated the New Day by disqualification when uh, they hit the 3D on, I believe, Kofi Kingston. And then uh, Xavier Woods came running in from the outside, put the stomp on them. Uh, from there, the New Day would bring tables into the ring, thinking that they were going to put the Dudley Boys through them. But the Dudley Boys awoke, fought off the New Day, and hit the 3D on Xavier Woods, putting him through the table. Um, Charlotte beat Nikki Bella, ending her run as the uh, longest-running Divas champion of all time, I believe at 301 days. Charlotte was there with uh, Pay, uh, Paige and Becky Lynch, as well as Ric Flair. Um, they got the win. So-so match. It is what it was. They beat down Charlotte. They said that her leg was, leg was injured, but she was still able to hit the figure eight and get the win there for you. Chris Jericho made his return to on-screen. Um, they lost the match uh, to the Wyatts. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Chris Jericho were in the ring once it was all done. Um, they looked like they were all going to be like, oh, we'll get them next time. But uh, Chris Jericho wouldn't shake hands with Dean Ambrose, put his shoulder, and walked right through Ambrose and Reigns, leaving him right there in the middle of the ring. And then from there, we go on to the main event, uh, John Cena. Uh, beating Seth Rollins for the United States Championship match. Match went 16 minutes, but the match was so good. It was one of those matches that only felt like it was five. 
Uh, Rollins uh, would then go on uh, and immediately face Sting in the main event. Um, Sting very badly injured and banged up. Um, Rollins was able to roll him up at first Scorpion Deathlock. Uh, one, two, three. Rollins gets the uh, the belt. Uh, well, keeps the belt. Uh, and then from there, Sheamus came running down to make Seth Rollins' night a little bit longer, uh, making it go three matches instead of only two. Um, once um, Sheamus hit the ring, um, Kane's music came off. Kane wanted to join the party. Um, I, Kane didn't really run off Sheamus, but Sheamus just looked at his, fuck this, I'll live to fight another day, I only have one contract, I'm not gonna fight this guy in order to fight this guy to become champion, there's gonna be another opportunity down the road, um, but Kane, uh, double tombstone Seth Rollins, leaving him laying as the pay-per-view goes off, so, the big, uh, big deal for Hell in the Cell is going to be, um, Seth Rollins versus Kane, it looks like, as well as Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, uh, I'm guessing you're going to get rematches in the Dudley Boys versus the New Day, Kevin Owens versus Rymac, Ziggler versus Rusev looks like it's nowhere near finished. Um, would be surprised if they do Charlotte versus Nikki. I'm thinking that you're going to have a few girls uh, in a match at Hell in a Cell. I don't think you're going to go one on one, and uh, I'm not quite sure if we're going to get like Jericho versus Ambrose or um, what we're going to get out of that deal. Maybe we're never going to see Chris Jericho ever again. So that was Night of Champions. I'll see you guys down the road.